Hi there, I'm Janine Pauke of Liandi CGI and today I'll be covering a delicious chocolate ball with some sprinkles. This is of course a short introduction to geometry notes which are new in Blender 2.92. So are you ready? I've got a big ball here, that's the chocolate ball and inside of it hidden are three little sprinkles. Let me just turn off the chocolate ball so you can see them. So they've got three different colors and I've put them into their own collection, also called sprinkles. Um, and the important thing is that these all have a scale of 111. And if they don't, you just go to object, apply, scale. That's very important. So let me turn the ball back on. Next, what I'd like to do is uh, change this editor to be the new geometry node editor. And with the chocolate ball selected, press on this button here, new. This adds a new geometry nodes modifier to the chocolate ball. And the first thing we're going to need is a point distribute node. So press shift A and let's just use the search function, point distribute, plop that in here. And now as you can see, the chocolate ball has disappeared, it's become invisible. Well, not a big problem, just make a copy of it and remove the nodes from the second one, from the copy. So this one we'll just be using for rendering. And the first one is the one with the nodes on it, the geometry nodes. All right, so select the one with the nodes uh, to see the modifier and the geometry nodes in the editor. And the next thing we're going to need, oh, by the way, this is used to define where the sprinkles are scattered, but we still need to tell the modifier what to use as the sprinkles, which objects to scatter. And for that, we are going to need a point instance node. So plop that in here as well. And now we can select a single object here to scatter across the surface. But what I actually want to do is have all these three sprinkles scattered across the surface. So instead of just picking one object, I'm going to change this to collection. And then I can select the collection called sprinkles, which has all three sprinkles in it. And if you look closely, you see that it just scatters the whole collection as one thing across the surface. That's not what we want. I want to turn off this option called whole collection. So now it looks at every sprinkle individually and scatters them all across uh, individually. And now we can play around with the density and with the seed uh, in the point distribute node to just change the look until we like what we see as a result. Some of these are overlapping, so just keep clicking on the seed until you find the seat where yeah, as, as few of them are overlapping as possible. So this is pretty cool already, right? But what if you want to cover only the top half of the chocolate bowl with a nice fall off towards the bottom? Well, that's where the vertex weights come in. So first of all, with the chocolate bowl selected, go to the uh, object data properties. And here on the vertex group, Vertex groups, let's add a new one and rename it to sprinkles. And now we can go to the weight paint mode. Actually, before we can see anything, we need to tell the point distribute node to use this new sprinkles vertex uh, group. So type this into the density sprinkles. Right now they all should disappear all the sprinkles, because by default all the vertices have a weight of zero and you can't actually see the vertex map um, as you normally would because remember the original chocolate ball with the nodes on is invisible. Well, that's not a huge problem because as soon as we start painting with a, a weight of one, you can see the sprinkles reappearing. So now I'm painting with a, a weight strength of one. That means 100% of the density that's uh, being applied. And I can make my brush a little bigger maybe. Mm -hmm. 
and maybe increase the density overall. So to create this fall off, simply turn down the weight and uh, paint across the middle a little bit. Maybe a little less. Remove some. And there we go. Lots of sprinkles at the top and fewer the lower we get. All right, let's go back to object mode. Now, what if we also want to randomize the scale of the sprinkles to have them all be different sizes as well, to make it even more interesting? For that, we need one more additional node. So press Shift A and look for the attribute randomize node. Actually, it's already in the list. <laughs> Don't even need to type anything in. So plop that in between the other two nodes. And the trick here is to simply type in the attribute that you want to randomize, in this case, scale. And there we go. Now we've randomized the scale of all the sprinkles ranging from zero to one. And of course, we probably don't want really tiny sprinkles. So I'm going to set the min to 0.5 to uh, limit the minimum scale a bit. Now we can maybe increase the density a little bit to compensate for the scale. How cool is that? And by the way, if you are not scattering something uh, perfectly round like this, but maybe uh, irregularly shaped rocks across a landscape, you might want to randomize the rotation of everything as well. Uh, what you can do in that case is just Shift D to duplicate this node. And instead of scale, type in rotation that's another attribute that you can randomize like this and let me just turn on the wireframe view and zoom in on a couple sprinkles so now if i change the min or the max i can uh, define how random i want them rotated how randomly so that would be really cool for rocks across the landscape for example it would be kind of silly if they were rotated all the same way right and there we go. I'll uh, put the final project file in the comments for you to download. And I hope this was a fun little introduction to geometry nodes. Uh, if you like this tutorial, you know what to do, right? Press the like button, maybe leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Until next time, bye bye.